Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. I have the all new 2023 Genesis GV70 electrified, which is a fully electric car. Even though this looks like a gasoline version, it is EV only. And it's a beautiful vehicle inside and out, and there's a lot of things I like about it, but there are also things that can be improved. So as an engineer, let me tell you five things I like and three things I'm not too crazy about on this new Genesis GV70 electrified. Let's go. Welcome back. So first thing I really like about the GV70 Electrified is the manufacturing quality outside. Now the interesting thing is that this GV70 Electrified sold in Canada is actually built in Korea and imported to Canada here. But if you buy the same vehicle in the US, it's going to be built in the US factory. So that's kind of interesting. And that's a lot to do with the taxation difference between the US and Canada. And I'm kind of happy that we're getting the one from Korea because I think it'll be better made, at least from my own experience anyways. But how is the actual paint job and the manufacturing quality? Well, let me start with the paint job first because that's the strength of the Genesis. You can tell when you look at it, the actual gloss and the consistency of the paint is first class, one of the best. I've always noticed that about the Genesis vehicles. They do a fantastic job of a paint. And I would even say that it's better than the Lexus models because they seem to have a bit of extra layer of paint. Usually their clear coat is thicker and therefore the gloss of the paint is more apparent. And if I just look through from the front to back, it's extremely consistent and almost no orange peel. So this is a fantastic paint job. What about in terms of the manufacturing quality for the actual panel fit and alignment? Well, they've done something interesting from an engineer's perspective because as you can tell, this hood actually goes over a little bit of the front fender. So the gap is not really measurable in a sense that it's kind of a clamshell design. It, even in the front here, this goes over the front bumper. You can see the kind of overlay here. So the gap is actually underneath and therefore you can't really measure it. And they did that to make the vehicle more attractive looking, but also easier for engineering and manufacturing people to uh, do the proper alignment and quality so that uh, it's not obvious to our eyes whether something is misaligned. And so therefore it's almost impossible to measure the alignment here, but it looks almost perfect here. Everything lines up in terms of edges. I have to take my hats off to Genesis for taking a chance and having such a prominent crease because it's actually very hard to line up these kind of crease in both engineering and manufacturing but they decided to do that and thankfully they do line up and therefore the manufacturing quality for exterior panel is really good the gap is about uh, four millimeter here 3.5 and about three millimeter here so pretty consistent maybe not quite as good as some of the best lexus model i've seen but better than most of other European and North American built vehicles in terms of panel alignment and panel quality. So exterior is really good, that's my first point. And the second thing I really like about the GV70 is also to do with the quality and that is the inside, which is definitely one of the best strengths of all Genesis models, but especially in this GV70, the interior is beautiful. So let's take a look inside. So now I'm inside the GV70 electrified and as you can tell the interior is very much like the one that's on the gasoline version which is a great thing because this is perhaps the best design interior in the world in this price range. There's nothing else out there that have the beauty and the design of this GV70 in terms of material selection, in terms of the actual engineering and the level of quality. Look at the fit and finish of the stitching of the plastic materials and the fact that um, a material selection for leather and, and plastic is just beautifully well designed. Even though um, Audi used to be the leader in terms of interior design, now I'm going to tell you it's the Genesis that's the world leader in terms of having the best engineering and the best layout as well. So I really like the interior, the quality looks good. All the stitching matches pretty well. A little bit off here in the corners, but otherwise it looks like a car costing twice as much uh, and therefore I love the interior. The third point I really like is the fact that because this is based on the gasoline version of the GV70, all the buttons are here. And that's a great news because so many electric cars have lost buttons in favor of putting everything inside the infotainment system. And that goes against everything I've learned in engineering for ergonomics and design. So this one, we have a proper buttons for a variety of different functions. 
an actual knob for the control of the temperature although we do have a small uh, screen here for managing other details of the temperature uh, but we have uh, volume control uh, for radios and proper system here for managing the function infotainment system which is also a touch panel so you can do both I do admit it's a bit of a reach here though so I end up using this one a lot more and it works just fine and you also get lots of function on the steering so the buttons and controls are really welcome mainly because so many electric cars have chosen to eliminate all of the buttons in fact some models don't even have wiper controls anymore and they are hidden in the infotainment system which is just hard to believe that they think that might be a good thing to do in a car so I love the interior in terms of quality but also in terms of engineering and layout this is perhaps one of the best in the world so now I'm driving this vehicle which is the fourth thing I really like because it's one of the smoothest, most refined vehicle in this class. Now that it's fully electrified, I can't even hear a noise. It's super quiet, very refined, and you know what? Combined with its beautiful interior design, it really does feel like a car that costs so much more than this. Uh, it is just an amazing vehicle to drive, although I will admit that it is not a fun car to drive. It's not a sporty vehicle. But compared to Lexus RZ that we own, this one feels a little bit smoother, it feels a little bit more luxurious, and the ride is a little bit better, although the Lexus RZ is quite good as well. Overall, the driving experience is phenomenal, and it has a boost function, and if you push that, you get additional horsepower, and it takes off like a rocket. I'm not going to do that right now, um, but you know what? Acceleration is absolutely amazing, because like all electric cars, it just takes off right away when you step on the accelerator. So the feel of the vehicle, especially for passenger, is second to none. Every passenger that I've taken said this feels really luxurious, gorgeous, very comfortable and smooth. And that is definitely one of the strengths of this vehicle. The fifth thing I really like about the GV70 Electrified is the fact that it has a really high customer satisfaction and actually pretty good reliability as well. I know that you guys are wondering whether it has a good reliability just because it's part of a Hyundai group and it is built in Korea and you might say it's not as good as Japan. But you know what? The data shows otherwise. The overall reliability in terms of the last three or four years has been excellent on all Genesis models. And more than that, the customers are extremely happy with the purchase and ownership of Genesis models, especially GV70. So even though this is a newer model and this electrified version is a new model, I suspect that the overall satisfaction will be high, maybe even higher than Toyota or Lexus in some cases, because Genesis have found the right recipe and the right approach to treating customers. So even though this is a newer brand and you might be worried about the overall satisfaction, you don't have to worry because every person that has purchased a Genesis has been happy and I can tell you based on my driving experience and driving this for a week that you're going to be super happy with the experience of driving and owning this Genesis GV70. What about things I'm not too crazy about? Well, I'm going to give you three and they're quite trivial because for the most part, I love this vehicle inside and out. Not too many SUVs in this price range, in this format can beat or exceed GV70's level of quality and so forth. But there are things that can be improved. The first one is something that will take time to figure out and that's the resale value of all Genesis models, including its parents company Hyundai's cars as well. They tend to struggle a little bit with the resale value just because these brands have not really built up the same reputation as Lexus and Toyota. And I've noticed that looking at some of the used Genesis, they've depreciated quite a bit. Now, I don't think it's that much worse than the European brands. In fact, it's probably about the same as Audis and Mercedes, but it's definitely not in the same league as Lexus and maybe even Acura. So I hope Genesis resale value will get better in the future, but for now, it's something that you have to be aware of. The second thing that can be improved is the range, which is actually pretty good at 383 kilometers. In fact, it's better than the Lexus RZ, but competitors are introducing more and more electric cars with the longer ranges, especially Tesla. So that's something that uh, Genesis and all other brands have to continue to work to try to increase the range so that people migrating from gasoline cars to electric cars can feel more comfortable. And those are something that will happen very shortly. But for now, I just wish that there was a little bit more range on this Genesis GV70. The third thing that can be improved is a little bit about the infotainment system because as I mentioned, this is a really beautiful design model, but to do a touch panel, this is a little bit too far. You gotta really reach and to navigate this way. Of course, Genesis really wants you to use this one here to navigate through because that's within reach. But if you do want to go over here and deal with the touch panel with your hands, then it's a bit of a reach. Also, the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is wired 
and not wireless. Now it's apparently something to do with the contractual relationship with uh, Apple and Android, which is preventing them from having a wireless system. But many other manufacturers already have that ability, so there's no excuse for that. I think it has to be wireless in today's age in a car of this price range, and that's something that Genesis really have to work on. So what do I really think of the GV70 Electrified? Well, as you know, we own the Lexus RZ, which we just purchased recently. And if I was given the choice to start over again, I would have bought the GV70 Electrified versus the Lexus because they're about the same price, but this one comes with much better features and actually I think overall a better experience in terms of driving as well. So I would have taken the Genesis GV70, but if I were to keep a car for long term, let's say five to 10 years, then the Lexus might have a better resale value and perhaps a better long-term reliability. So I know that's a safer buy, but this is a more interesting buy. What do you guys think of the Genesis GV70 in the electric version? Do you like it better than Lexus RZ or do you like Lexus RZ better? Let me know in the comments below. So I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make some comments. And if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe to my channel? Because I truly appreciate that. Thank you so much, and until next video, I'm signing off for now.